Hello guys and welcome back to the dap world. In the previous tutorial we have set up some variables and functions. Now let's complete them now. In the rendered html we have declared the wallet address state before and also in the previous chapter we have declared retrieve function. Only remaining things are input value state, on input change function and lastly update value function. So let's start with handling the input. Define the state and then define on input change function and then the update value function. For now let's keep this function empty, we will add the code later. Now you should replace all the app.css file content so that our frontend will look good. After updating the files, the web app should look like this. If the wallet is not connected, then the web app will look like this. When you click on the connect wallet button, this will ask you to connect the wallet with the application. Approve the transaction and after connecting with the wallet, it will display the address and the functions interface. We have completed the frontend part. Now let's check if we can retrieve the value from the program. Click on the retrieve button and open the browser console. You will see an error like this. Now which account does not exist? We have our wallet connected, program id is fetched from the ideal file. Everything seems to be ok. Well if you remember, Solana program stores data on accounts right? So in the program, we have initialized one account if you remember. Here this function initializes the account. Now when we deploy the Solana program, only program account is created and its id will be returned. What about the data account? So let's create a function to initialize the data account in app.js. Here in this function, we get the provider and then the program and then create a transaction to initialize the accounts. And lastly console the newly created account public key. The system program is imported from the anchor web3 and also have generated a key pair at the start of app.js file and saved it in the my account variable. If you observe closely the parameters you will see we have initial underscore account in the program and initial account here in the app.js. This is something we have already discussed. Rust program uses snake cases whereas javascript uses camel cases. This is handled by anchor. Now whenever user connect the wallet, we will initialize the data account. So let's use the above created function. We will make sure that the data account is not initialized first. So this can be done by actually retrieving the value. If we don't get, it means we have to create the account for it. So set up the wallet connection functions. Now refresh the function and as soon as you connect the wallet, you will get a pop-up for creating new data account. Approve the transaction and click on retrieve button. You will see the retrieved value in the console as well as below the retrieve button. Now let's try to update this value. We have already handled the input value functions and its state and also defined the update value function. Now let's write some code in it. In this function, we get the provider and then the program and then define the value to be updated in the program and initiate a transaction. Since we have already handled the onclick function in the html part, let's write some value in the input field and click on the update button. Confirm the transaction and retrieve back the value. And that's it, you have built your first solana storage program. If you notice carefully, we have initialized the data account when user connects with the wallet. But this happens every time even on the page refresh. This can be handled with different ways. One of the ways you yourself initialize the first account and directly provide the data account address for the first time and after that you can create the data account whenever is needed. You can get the other resources on solana from dap world. And also you can download the complete dap source code from the dap world's freebies section.